Hello again, Matty again here, uh, giving a progress report for the park that I made last time. Working off script, we're just going to go uno natural this time and go with the flow. So my thoughts were after the last time I um, did my park, I, I wasn't particularly happy with the layout, if honest. Um, didn't think it was very practical or realistic, so I've made some modifications. I've started a new map and copied over what I'd already done. So very quickly, I'll just show you. Um, I built an entrance over the tunnel. Um, it's actually Geekism, another YouTuber who actually designed a tunnel and gave me the idea. So I kind of pretty much copied his. Um, I couldn't take it off the store because he's a PC player and PC and PlayStation don't show, unfortunately, so I had to make it myself. But I'm going to have um, entrance and exit there. I'm um, going to bring this out over here and have car park over here. I'm going to have a bus bus section here and maybe a disabled section, staff parking, and then guest parking here. And then, um, the, the, I mean, the chances are they wouldn't use the monorail, but it just seemed a bit more realistic. And then you've got the entrance here, so guests can either go and park or they can walk up into the into there. And then over here, I'm going to build this up as a bit of an outside area. So this is going to, what this is here is that's the going to be the border of the park. Um, so I'm just going to build some farms around here and things like that. Uh, just a little bit of scenery. Um, and I've changed the direction of the monorail as well. So before it went uh, this way, now it goes this way. Um, again, just seemed a bit more realistic with the car park, so the people from the car park would jump on the monorail, save them walking because they're lazy, and get to the entrance there. And then come around here. I haven't placed Wasp's Nest yet. I'm kind of thinking that Wasp's Nest may go around here. I'm thinking, but I haven't yet decided, and then they'll come around here. And here's construction, which I've made a start on. Um, just realised that that is in the wrong place, so let's move that. Uh, might possibly just need to take off the supports there, but I'll see. But um, yeah, that's the uh, start of construction. Let's have a, I'll just show you very quickly um, what it's looking like so far. Um, obviously it's in what you could call beta phase. So yeah, that's uh, the start of construction. Um, there's a hell of a lot of work to do um, there. I mean, just the ride is down, obviously, but just so much more to go. And then it'll come around here, and then it'll go to uh, Tomb Flumer, uh, which I've placed down, but I've got to do all the terrain again, because uh, a lot of the terrain is now missing, so I just need to go through and, and do that again. And um, rather than do these rides than what I'd done I got sidetracked and built a new ride um Thunderbird 3 aptly named because of the Thunderbird 3 that I built so let's have a uh, quick look at this very short ride unsure if I like this um maybe leave a comment uh, down below see what you think um any suggestions if you think it could be changed or improved because I'm not 100% sold on it um it was just a bit of an idea that I had. I wanted to incorporate Thunderbird into the park, but it's such a big build that I didn't want it out of the ground, so I thought it'd be better to have it underground. Um, but it is literally a very short ride. It, it's just one big drop, and then it uh, comes back up again. But I think maybe with some lights and some scenery and uh, special effects, it could be, it could be quite good. 
short and sweet. But these uh, vertical drop coasters don't tend to be um, very long. I believe Oblivion at all towers is only it's only about a minute, I think, um, and and that's the same, about a minute as well. So yeah, let's uh, close that back down again. Let's close this back down again. So. Um, and then I'll be able to build a kids area as well, which is uh, what I wanted to do, like kind of a family section and some shops and amenities and whatnot. But I'm just currently working on the, this entrance. So I've just built this uh, roundabout. Um, so I was just in the process of just doing that. So um, no riveting content, I'm afraid. We're just going to build up this roundabout. So... Let's have a bit more decoration. Let's put a uh, big centerpiece tree in the middle, I think. Um, no, not that one. No, too big. That could be quite nice. Mm. I'll come back to that in a second. That's possible, I think. Oh, I quite like that. I could, uh, maybe put, like, say, two of these down. Is that the, uh, do I just use the same one again? Yeah, that's the same one. That's what I wanted. A bit different. Oh, that's a bit taller, isn't it? Uh, maybe not that one. No, I think they're too big. Let's have a look at um, what kind of centerpieces we've got. <laughs> Just put a penguin in the middle. <laughs> no. That could be quite cool. quite like the idea of that and then like maybe just build some stuff up around it she, uh, I kind of almost feel that she would need to be on a um, some kind of platform though or something hmm. like some kind of pedestal or something how big is she yeah, it's That could be quite nice. Could potentially do something like that. Like smack bang in the centre. That looks quite nice. Quite like that. Let's group them together. I'm not 100% sure that it's centre. It does, but, uh, no, it does look centre. That's okay. I feel that I'd have, that I'd have some uh, really cool lights, which I think I'll add at the end. that I quite like. I quite like the idea of something along them lines. Is there any, um, I see they're way too big. Alright, let's go with that for a second. Let's just add some lights.
That looks quite nice. Let's get it centre then. That looks pretty centre to me. So I think the colour of them possibly needs changing as well. Happy with that. So um, after the video that I made the other day, um, talking about Frontier releasing the Studios pack for the consoles, I think Frontier must have watched my video because within 24 hours of me releasing the video, they announced that the Studios pack will be coming tomorrow, which I am very excited for. So you can uh, bet your bottom dollar I'm going to be uh, buying that tomorrow. There's uh, so much good stuff in the studio's pack. Um, a lot of like stuff for backstage areas, um, like kind of staffing areas and like the back of the park stuff that necessarily guests wouldn't really see. Uh, that's really nice. I'm very happy with that. Right. So it just needs a little bit more uh, scenery around it. Let's have a look what we've got. Let's put some flowers around. Put it back to daytime. Oh, there's my security guard. Hello, security guard. Archie Pickering. In fact, what I think I might do because I've actually got a couple of staff members, um, I may actually name 
my um, staff members after people not only who commented on the previous video that I released but also the people that I got inspiration from as well uh, so let's have a look um, uh, the last video 101 views I know that might not sound like a lot but I am so happy with that um, for me that's that's so many views and I had about uh, I think it was about 15 new subscribers I believe it was oh no the security guard has gone into the void where's he gone there he is let's pause it right, Archie Pickering you are going to be called the Scarlet Knight, who's actually my younger brother. Uh, that's his YouTube name. So thank you, uh, little brother, for commenting on my video. Even if it was just a laughing face and telling me that my sound isn't very good because I haven't got, I've got a very good microphone yet. But I don't care. You're now going to be a security guard. So who else have we got? Oh, here we go. Right, an entertainer, King Coaster. The next person to comment was Johnny Bear, who happens to be my best mate in real life. Um, we've been best mates for, I think it's 33 years, 34 years. So there you go, John. That's a token of my friendship. You shall now be immortalised as this big, fat entertainer. You're welcome. So who else have we got? Let's find more staff. Oh, I've got another entertainer. Uh, because I'm going in order, I do apologise. But Zippy, who happens to also be one of my uh, also in real life friends, you're going to be a princess. But we all know deep down you always wanted to be a princess, so... There we go. You're now an entertainer. Right, who else have we got? Security guards. Eduardo Redmond. You shall now be known as Boy D. And uh, Boy D is a friend from Final Fantasy XIV that I also play. He's actually my uh, free company leader. And then finally, Highwell Mead. You are going to be known as Moomin Little Socks. Um, very happy that Moomin Little Socks commented on one of my videos um, after I followed him on YouTube. So, um, hello Moomin Little Socks, keep up the great content. Looking forward for your next series. Anyone who hasn't subscribed to him, go and check him out, please. Thank you. And... We also need to name two more people after the entrance and the station that I stole. I suppose I'd better also do Geekism as well, because I've stolen his entrance. So, you guys can be vendors. So, Geekism, you're now a vendor. Thank you for your inspiration and idea on the tunnel. Right, next one is Ricci's. And Ricci's was the creator who did the original one of that. Um, the one that I took inspiration from. So thank you, Ricci's. I'm not sure why it's doing this. Now I've moved it. Any comments as to why it's now doing that and how I can prevent that would be much appreciated because I'm not sure. And... Really sorry, I can't actually remember what the other person's name was um, that I took the inspiration from the uh, station from. So I'm going to have to just have a quick look on the storefront, I'm afraid. Uh, where was it? It's a little station. 
some of the stuff that people create in this game is just absolutely mind-boggling absolutely insane and uh, now it's on the first page have i already gone past it Oh, Zaymaro. I think I'm saying that right this time. Zaymaro. So Zaymaro, you will be one of the vendors as well. There you go. Right, now that's out of the way. Back to the riveting content that is uh, decorating this. Decorating this. So as I, yeah, as I was saying before, um, before my previous video, I think I had eight subscribers. Um, and after the video that I posted the other day, I'm now up to, I think it's about 21 something like that and, and I know that doesn't sound a lot and but you can only eat an elephant one bite at a time as my dad used to say so we all start somewhere Also as well, I've had a couple of comments uh, from friends of mine, a uh, couple on Final Fantasy, who um, since actually playing this, uh, one has been inspired to actually come and play this, um, said that I sold them on it, which, which is quite nice. Um, you're not going to be missing out. So shout out to you, Ollie. Um, hope you enjoy it. It's an amazing game. And Boy, um, aka Swiggin. I know you've had this game for a few weeks now. Get on it. You'll enjoy it. We can share inspiration ideas. Maybe even work on a project together one day. I'm not sure what I think of that. I don't like it. Just don't know, it just didn't. Don't know, just, that just didn't set right. That's too bright. <laughs> That's a bit more liked, I think. That's better. Ah, perfect. Something like that, I think. Yeah, that looks all right. I almost feel like it's too green. I feel like that might be a bit too much. 
can maybe put um, I still feel it's a bit too green here. It's just maybe just remove a little bit of that. It's just just oh no maybe not that one. way too green for what I'm looking for. Ah, something like that would go well. Maybe we can like build this up um, just this bit's like over here kind of thing. Now this is grade A YouTube content right here. Somebody building a roundabout in a coaster game. For anyone who subscribed recently, um, anyone who may be viewing, this is where the action is. This is like the top end YouTube content. is why it takes me so long to do anything in this game because I am so indecisive I'm like nope don't like that that could be better like maybe put um Five past twelve. I'll go for a little bit longer, but I do need to go to bed shortly. I have children to take school in the morning, so please try not to be too disappointed that you can't see me carrying on building a roundabout again in a coaster game. You come here to see me build awesome roller coasters, and instead, I do a roundabout that no one will ever even use. It's all about them little details.
Okay, that looks pretty smart. I almost feel that the trees... I don't know. I can't decide if I like the trees or not. Um, possibly leave a comment below as to what you think. Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry, hiccuping. I think it looks okay. One thing I have just noticed though, is that looks very brown. I need something there, just... Uh... That's a bit better. But then again, I almost feel that they wouldn't, because this is like kind of where the entrance of the park is going to be, I almost feel that they wouldn't allow that to happen. They wouldn't want it to get looking like that. They're going to want to keep it nice and tidy. Um, so maybe if we just put like some daisies down or something. Like kind of just, just to go all the way down. But then would that be too many daisies? Yes, it would be. Uh, That looks a bit better, I think. You can put like say, some roses down as well. Maybe not ones that are flying because uh, that wouldn't make sense. That's better. I also need to uh, extend this around a little bit as well because that zebra crossing is going to be a lot bigger than that in the end. And then uh, build all the roads around here. This whole roundabout looks off, but then I think because that side comes out further, so I think I might possibly just need to extend that path around a lot of better just yeah that's that's not straight that um, that's gonna bug me other people are gonna be like well it doesn't matter because it's not like it's gonna be used but that's something that would bug me and ladies and gentlemen that's why you can sink hundreds of hours into one park because you spent half an hour building a roundabout. And that took me about an hour. And then I got distracted and built that, which took me a couple of hours. Uh, one thing that is coming in the studio's pack tomorrow, which I'm extremely excited about, is um, somebody actually created one um, on the store. Um, it was it was similar to what I wanted. It's like kind of a, sen a fence kind of similar-ish to that, but in black. It's the most plain, boring looking thing you've ever seen. Um, but you would have it along rides as a as a safety measure. I mean, um, how many pieces is that? That's, take this out. That's 63 pieces, just for that. I mean, that's adding to the park count a lot. And, and that is something with being a console player I do need to be aware of as well. Um, on a console, you do have a limitations. I'm currently on 52%. 
um, which I'm happy with. That's that that's not too bad, um, given the fact that I've got all this down at the moment. Um, my plan is, obviously, I've got my flume there. I've got a coaster there, a coaster there. I'm going to have wasps nest over here, over here-ish, which is going to be coaster. Um, I'm thinking I maybe maybe do one more wooden coaster around here. But, ooh, I was thinking about possibly having a, a river rapids running through it, but would I want a river rapids with having a log flume right there? Don't know about that, but uh, certainly I do want a uh, wooden coaster there. And then a lot of the rest is just going to be flat rides, shops, um, kids area. I mean, a kids area can take up potentially all of this area with just a handful of flat rides and then build it up with scenery um might mean that i might new, need to move the monorail a little bit but i'll i'll work around that um but there we go oh i still get to get a name for the park as well so i am still needing suggestions for the park um 100, 101 views on the last video and not a single person came up with a suggestion for a name for a park so get on that saves me having to come up with one and i think i will call that it i apologize for the extremely boring content of building a roundabout but in games like this sometimes that's just what happens i'm afraid but the end result turned out quite good and i will continue posting progress as we go on so thank you ever so much for watching and um, don't forget to like and subscribe check out moomin little socks and also geekism um geekism being one of the bigger youtubers when it comes to planet coaster and hopefully moomin little socks will start catching up as well um stay safe take care take care of each other and others and i will see you in the next video goodbye <laughs>